The compact SUV segment is literally bursting at the seams with new metal, but nothing has quite the same impact as this Range Rover Evoque. It really is the car of the moment. But unlike a supermodel, this car's beautiful on the inside as well as the outside. Here in the back of the Evoque, there's plenty of room for three adults. Great knee room because the backs of the seats are scalloped and good headroom. And a pub fact, there's actually more headroom in the back of this five-door Evoque than there is in the back of a Range Rover Sport. Now, even though this middle seat isn't quite as shapely as the two either side of it, it's still more than comfortable for a long distance drive. Even though this space looks quite small, I'm nearly six feet tall and I've got absolutely no problem at all getting in or out of the Evoque. Around at the back, we've got the cost optional powered tailgate, which is fantastic, I love them. Under here, there's a space saver spare and there's about 400 litres of boot space here. Drop the 60-40 uh, split fold seats and it grows to about 1400 litres. Not too bad. The Evoque sets a whole new benchmark in this segment with great design, quality materials, first rate fit and finish and the solidity you expect from a premium brand. Here in the front, the Evoque's a nice comfy place to be. Dash looks great, plenty of little storage spaces to put things like uh, your iPhone, your iPod connects in there and uh, might not take a big one litre water bottle, but it would take a half litre water bottle, no problems in there. And uh, if you do have a bigger water bottle like I do, you can fit it down in this front storage pocket there. While most buyers will never ever set foot off the bitumen, it's reassuring to know the Evoque is every bit as capable as you'd expect from a Range Rover. It has the same ground conquering terrain response system as other Range Rovers, with more ground clearance than its Land Rover sibling, the Freelander 2. Just like other Range Rovers, the Evoque is really, really comfortable to drive. And it's really, really quiet in here too. There's just a slight little whistle of wind noise from around these big wing mirrors, but they do mean that you get excellent vision right around the car. Probably the most un-Range Rover-like trait this car has is just how well it handles. It goes around corners so, so well. Land Rover Australia thought it would be the three-door Evoque that would create a storm and sell like hotcakes. But that hasn't been the case. It's actually this five-door model that's proved to be more popular. And that's easy to understand why, because it costs $1,500 less and is about 1,500 times more practical. See, this really is the car that can do it all. You can fit a family in there, you can take it off-road, it's great fun on-road, and I mean, it's as hot as hell.